He says, Ra'ay to whom li sajidin. I saw him making sajda to me. And his father said what? Shh, son. Please don't tell your brothers. <laughs> that's Quran, right? That, that's the fifth ayat. You're telling me that still you're coming to me for advice. But son, if you know like I know, please don't tell your brothers. He said, because they will plot a plan against you in that shade Li insani and the For surely Shaitan is a clear enemy to all of mankind. This is how he advising his sons. But real quick, and we know what happened. Even though he didn't tell them, they felt that their father loved him and his brother Benjamin more than he loved them. And they plotted and they planned. And they put him in a well. And some travelers came and they sold him into bondage into Egypt. They got him out of sight. So he had trials. See yourself. Tests and trials in his life. Then when they sold him, they took him in the house, the king at that time in Egypt. And they treated him well, but the wife of the, of the Aziz, he fell a liking with her. And she came at him, but she blamed him for coming at her. And the leaders in the area put him in prison. Now look at that. He's sold by his brothers, end up in Egypt, falsely accused, end up in prison. And he meet two guys, and Allah bless him with the insight. And one of them get out. He say, listen, when you get out, don't forget to tell the king about me. The guy get out and forget all about him. King having nightmares, though. And then he thought, he said, hey, there's a guy in prison that can help you. Then he told him about Joseph. And Joseph said, I'll help you if you put me over the green. So real quick of Joseph, we see a man that went to the bottom, but at the end was raised to the top. Right? So we have these in our life. You will have different challenges, different accusations. You're going to have these things. But you trust in Allah because Allah can raise you from the bottom to the top. Right? He can raise our situation. He can improve our situation. And in reading the signs, I'm going to close right now, is in 2020, whatever is going on in the signs of what's happening on a mass level up high, we see a major election, and we just see the history, right, of a woman being attached. But the person is running, they say Joe, but Joe is Joseph. Name is Joseph. He's Yusuf. And he's running. Now, let's just deal with names. You can block these people out. You know, some don't even like them, right? <laughs> deal with the concept of the sign. Now, he's running for the highest office, like, like Joseph got, right? And according to the language that they're using, what Joseph did, even after they sold him in bondage, he still looked out for his brothers, right? Now, what we're saying, they always say this. Man, when I become the leader of this country, don't worry about it, I'm going to look out for everybody. Democrats, Republicans, black, white, I love everybody. <laughs> That's what they say, and I guess some try their best. What I've been acting if you're doing that, hustling the thing, what if you're acting like you're the thing, what can that have been now? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa salam to wa salamu ala Rasulihi Kareem. Muhammad Sai Salam Abad. Dear believers, it's always so important for us when we can in doing the Qur'an and what we do is try to connect Quran to our life. Because you have to live Islam. See yourself in this as much as you can, right? This is for us to change and help our life. So if I talk about something 4,000 years ago, as Allah said in the Quran, he said on that day, he said, it's in Quran, read Barbara. He said, you're not going to be asked anything about what they did. 
their matter is settled, you're going to be asked about what you did. So it's there for a lesson and see how we can apply it to ourselves, right? So anyway, we just went through Yusuf, Joseph, and look at the sign, the vision. And now in the second part of the cookbook, before we close in our reality. Now in this, what we see in the middle of this pandemic, 2020 vision, 2020 40. I remember a brother was telling me before all this came in. I'm glad to see him. He said, man, I got a feeling in this year, man, 40. I turned 40 this year. Such and such and such and such and such and such. I feel some deadly stuff is going to go on. And I thought about it when all of this is going on in 2020. Vision. So we're seeing things. Now, on this before we close. In what we're seeing with this COVID-19 and in this historic election. That for the first time, we know the first woman to run, Shelley Chisholm, in the 70s, African-American, to run for president. African-American. But here, some 48 years later, you have Joseph. Now don't, don't picture the man. Vote for who you want. Someone named Yusef, Joseph, picking a woman of color whose background, they say, is her father Jamaican and her mother is Indian. But her name, she's not a Muslim, she's a Baptist. Her name is Kamala. His name is Joseph. Her name is Kamala. Kamala. If you go look up the calf, the mean, and the L, that's the root. Now, we read the signs. So you have Yusuf and Kamala. Now, if you go to Quran, powerful. You will see someone that's not a Muslim, the name is, has a meaning in Hindu. But you go to Quran and look where the name Kamala comes from. In Quran. And you always say tied to Quran. So you have Yusuf and the name Kamala means to perfect, to complete, to fulfill. Go to Quran, Surah 5, Ayat 3. And Allah says, Bismillah, Rahim. Yoma ek meltu. Ek meltu. K M L, that's the root. Ek meltu lakum dinukum. This day I have perfected your deed for you. And it's the word that's used for perfected here. It's Kimala. It's just a sentence stopper. At Mel to who? You understand? So we see that in Quran, just looking at the signs, right? We're not dealing necessarily with the people, looking at the signs. So the word, the name Kimala means perfect to complete, right? So Allah says, on this day, I have perfected. 